This is Hari Lisha, Interventional Cardiovascular Specialist, presenting tips of ulnar artery access. As you see, the ulnar nerve here has to be identified and avoided, not only painful, but causes a lot of long-term neurological side effects. Uh, ultrasound is definitely key, anterior stick, as distal as possible, 60 degree angle, with the smallest sheath to do the job, and preferably braided sheath to avoid kinking. The same band used for the radial, you flip it, and you use obviously 50 units per kilo of heparin. We monitor carefully since this is an access that has a high risk of bleeding. Now what happens if you have an occlusion on the table? This is a case where we deflated the TR band to zero and the ulnar artery was completely occluded and we did an ultrasound on the table, which I highly recommend. And at this point, we confirmed the absence of flow. We did the preferential uh, perfusion by compressing the radial artery while monitoring the oxygen plate of smography on the pinky finger. Uh, as you see here, this definitely works and you can see it by ultrasound. The artery is closed in diastole, but it, it actually opens up in systole with the preferential flow that uh, you had induced with the radial artery occlusion. The, doing the ultrasound yourself is definitely very helpful and obviously we can give additional heparin. Another tip is also to place nitroglycerin on the area that's perfused by the ulnar artery.